Okay, today's project is an Aiwa TP712. It's a seven inch reel to reel. Um, three and three quarter inches per second. So, although it says here that it, it's suitable for, for both speeds, um, obviously we've got the heads tucked in behind there. And the issue with this one is the belts are broken and I cannot, 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 cannot find a, a tape path diagram on uh, on the net. So I've trawled and trawled and trawled and I thought I don't really want to buy a manual. So I'm going to pull it apart and see if I can work out the tape path and replace the belts myself. Right, so we've got four screws on the back there. So I'm just going to go around, undo all those and then start working around the inside. So you can see the primary drive belt there and which one which is fine and I and and I tell a lie I actually have replaced this one recently but it's one of the fast forward and rewind belts that is no longer working so you got to unsolder these battery tabs you could probably do it without taking these off but this just makes it so much easier the iron's still heating up so it's just a bit cold what I recommend you do is to grab a sharpie and just anything that is a screw that connects to the chassis just put a little black mark on it so that you know that you're going to be screwing into the uh, basically you're not replicating one of the, um, one of these screws on the back of the case and it's pretty obvious between the two styles you've got a, a screw to metal style and you've got a threaded screw to plastic style now you notice at the top of this one here is brass and it's because it's actually a it's a threaded shaft that goes all the way through that you can see there so unscrew it from the top like this and then the whole thing comes off basically you have to take this one off um, because it actually acts as the screw mount into the case below you can see there all right so that was the last little screw up there try not to mix any of the screws up so I've taken off my leads and then the whole thing just comes out and we can see that we've got a belt there and we've got a belt here. So this one's obviously carked it and I've got to replace it. To get access to these belts under here uh, you need to remove the, the pinch capstan wheel which is connected to the flywheel on the back here and to do that I'm going to take off these two screws there and there which connect the um, basically secure the flywheel and I've also got to remove the main capstan drive and that actually if you just secure the the uh, I've got my fingers underneath you can just unscrew the top of the pinch capstan you can see that it actually comes off it's a little threaded unit and don't lose that and then you can see the capstan there and it is now basically only held in by the screws at the back which I'll now remove so I'm going to turn this over and and you can see what I've done years ago is I bypassed the crappy little um, 240 volt inlet because I didn't have, which is this thing here, because I didn't have a special plug for that. And um, I've just put 240 volt um, plug connection on there. One, two, take that off. So that's the main flywheel. Now if I turn this over. I should be able to get access once I loosen off these. Now this little shaft here is threaded. It's like a lock nut, so you just have to crack that with a really small shifter. Screw that off. There you go, and the head mechanism comes off and you can see the belt. So this is where we sort out the belt path. Okay, so you can see the the, uh, the belt path here. So if I press play, just need to apply a bit of pressure. Now you've got to remember that these the spindle, uh, the capstan binder is not on, so it's going to be a little bit floppy. But that's play. So this little uh, tension wheel puts a little bit of tension on the belt there. 
press stop fast forward it's a little bit a little bit tricky to get going so it's not really much of a fast forward but it's it's something of a fast forward the clutches come off the capstan so this one can basically spin free and this one drags the other one across stop rewind now you can see that they're both moving and the clutch is off this one, the clutch is off this one. But the intent is this capstan wheel basically physically binds on this belt and I've just used a rubber band because I don't have the right belt yet. But this one, the, the idea is, is that the torque on this capstan uh, pulley wheel is greater than the torque on this pulley wheel. So that this one will actually be spun backwards like that as it rewinds. So that's how they work. So you've got to remember that these belts were meant to have slip built into them and so using rubber really is a mistake but it does get me out of trouble. Okay so we've done a quick uh, reassembly. Moment of truth. Forward works and rewind works. Hooray! Success. All right, so that was picked up for two bucks at a garage sale. This one, I have no idea where this one came from. So these will be the next projects. It's a Phillips. So we've got a tape counter. No idea if it works. And this is a um, is a Sony. It's got a tape in it. No idea what's on it. Um, but it's got adjustable speed. Got uh, VU meters and I have no idea if it works or not.